All right, guys, thank you so much for taking the time to talk about the new Bill and Ted Face the Music. Um, we'll be directing questions directly uh, just because of the dynamic of how the Zoom is working. So, Aaron, I, this is where I'm coming from. I'm not an actor, and even for me, it's kind of weird the fact that last night I was watching you guys and do something funny, entertaining, and I'm getting to talk to you. So I would imagine, given that you've probably seen the Bill and Ted's movie, how is this to sort of be suddenly thrown between an Alex and Keanu comedy <laughs> dynamic, if you could talk to me oh, about that. First of all, welcome to Behind the Curtain. Um, Aha! <laughs> uh -huh, real life. It was incredible. I mean, I was, just, I was a fan. I loved the movies. I watched them so many times. So um, to like be on set, because they always call us in early to be on set and to see them finishing up a scene before we were going to rehearse and do the scene that we were in. Uh, you know, Jayma and I would be backstage, like backstage, just not a theater, but we'd be behind the monitors watching and be like, they're doing it. Look, they're, they're being Bill and Ted. Like, and then they'd walk over and be like, hey, how was your night? You know, oh, how are you guys today? Like, oh, not just Alex and Keanu. This is confusing. Um, it was it was fun. It was really fun to be a part of it. And then also to be a spectator uh, at the same time, you know? Yeah, but I mean, Jaima, building off of what Aaron said, that couples therapy scene, it must have been tough to get through with the straight face. Who, so who broke the most? Or did you all consume professionals that you are? I mean, how was it sort of filming that one? Because it's sort of, uh, in, on the other scenes, it seems like you guys are chasing each other, but that's the one where you really get to sort of interact with them. So yeah. tell well, me about shooting that one. You're right, we are incredibly professional and no one ever laughed for the two months of filming. There we go. Um, he took it very seriously. <laughs> no, it was lovely, actually. I think, I mean, I definitely remember breaking quite a few times. Um, and also in rehearsal, I think when we were preparing to shoot this film, we chatted about that film, that scene a lot when we were rehearsing. And like, we went, because that was our first big scene together. So we wanted to make sure that, like, Erin and I were real sisters and we were real wives and real couples. Um, but Jillian, Jillian Bell, who's also in the scene, she did break me a lot because I wasn't prepared for her and she would throw that. <laughs> and then, so I, I, I mean, I, I laughed a lot while we were filming. It was nice. That, that one, that was my favorite scene to film because it doesn't have that ticking clock that the rest of the movie has. It doesn't have the frenetic pace um, mm. of, of just real stakes and like, quick, 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 we've got to do this. So we were able to sit in the jokes a little bit more, let things breathe a little bit more there was time to play around with it because our characters weren't so urgent. Um, mm. And I love, and uh, Jillian is the greatest. And then like <laughs> the guys kind of get sidelined and the look like Keanu would look to me like, <laughs> you're totally like, like, I, 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 I'm going to prepare for it this time. I got it. I got it. I got it. Cool. And speaking about uh, ticking time clock, my time's almost up. So I don't know when I will have Jaima in front of me. So, uh, you know, Red Eye is one of my favorite, favorite Wes Craven's movies. So what do you remember about working with Wes on that one? Because you were great in it, uh, uh, but it's been a while. So I, I want to do a recollection of working with Wes Craven. Well, that's so lovely. Yes, that, you know what, that was my first big job. So I have wonderful memories of that particular job just because I was like, I didn't even know. He'd be like, ro they'd be like rolling. And I'm like, is that me? Do I go now? Like, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> But he was lovely, and I do. I feel so lucky that he was kind of that my mentor on that job. He kind of took me under his wing, and showed me everything. He was very patient with me and lovely. He was just the loveliest man. But the thing I remember about him the most is he always did a crossword. Always had a crossword in his hand. Oh wow! Like, All right, working on that. Yeah. All right. So my time's up. Thank you for being patient with me, and you guys have a great day. Stay safe. Okay. Thanks, Juan. You too. Thank you. All right. Bye.